Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of our Tutorial Islands series here. Uh, I'm just going to go over one plugin in this video. It's kind of a bigger plugin, so I just want to cover it all very well, you know, without making too long of a video here. Uh, the one plugin I'm going to go over is called Epic Gates. Now what this is, it's a gate teleportation system. Now you create a gate, walk through it, you know, teleport you to wherever it's set to. Um, you can use it to go back and forth from dungeons, from one location to another. You know, it's just going to be kind of fun to help people get around a little more. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like in action. So here's, here's our tutorial island. This is my gate back home, so I'm going to pass on through. And it teleports me back to the house. You know? And then here's my gate going back to tutorial island here. Okay. Now it can get a little laggy when you teleport through the gates. Um, you can sometimes you'll see yourself flying through the islands. Now Tutorial Island is actually pretty far away from home base, so when you actually do start creating gates, be very cautious um, about uh, how far and all you go, because it could get a little laggier the further you go out. Um, here are the gate commands. Just a list of them for you. Uh, we have the basic create, link, unlink, uh, direction, which is dealing with the way it faces. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that. Uh, we have move, delete, add allowed, remove allowed, add not allowed, and remove not allowed. These are just the basics. Everyone has access to these. No different admin controls here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we want to create a gate. Now, when it comes to creating a gate, you need to make ones with unique names. Um, even if someone had created one and deleted it, it doesn't work right because it's already logged in the log file. So you got you you always want to try and pick, you know, unique names. So I'm going to create a gate right where I'm standing. We're going to do gate uh, create. Let's go testy zero zero. I know Tessie's not the best of names, but when you create the gate, this is what you'll get. You'll get one obsidian block right here, and you'll get one wood block. Now, even if you delete these blocks, it does not delete the gate. This is just kind of showing you, you know, here's the portal, and when you come out, this is the way you're going to face. So, we'll go over here, and we'll create um, Testy zero one. Okay, so now these gates don't go anywhere because they're not linked together. So you're gonna do you're gonna link them. You're gonna go gate link testy zero zero. Oops, sorry. Gate link testy zero zero. E S T Y zero one. There we go. Now I'll link them together. Now when I walk through this, it's gonna take me to the other gate. Just like that. Okay? And we're gonna link the other one. I'm gonna go gate link testy zero one testy zero zero. Okay, and voila. And again there's a slight delay so you don't get stuck in an infinite loop there, so um there we go. So alright, so that's that. Now we also have unlink, which will break from the connection between the two gates that you specify. Um, now direction. See how see how when you walk through this gate, it turns you around the other gate facing this way. Now, if you wanted to change that, what you're going to do is you're going to go gate uh, direction, the name of the gate, which we're going to do test D zero zero, and the direction you want to want to get the face. So let's go east. It'll automatically flip it. So now, when you go when you go through this gate, when you come out, when you come out, you're facing east. Uh, as you see, when I moved it, it put a dirt block here. That's one thing to note. That if um, if you do put this in like a castle or something in your like me, where everything has to be nice and neat, when moving and removing gates, it's actually going to change the floor. If, if this was like an obsidian castle, this gate would not be dirt. I'd have to go in and put in a new obsidian piece. Um, just a little FYI on that. Um, now, to move it, so let's say, you know, I was digging, that was my, my dungeon, and then I want to move my thing to deeper into the dungeon, so I'm going to go slash gate move testy zero one. I was going to move that from that current location to here. 
Oops, sorry. But we'll see how it moved from here down to there. That's good if you want to just use one gate to teleport different places, you know, one main dungeon or whatever. You can have it do that. Um, again, it will just leave two dirt blocks in the spot where the gate originally was. Ah, what I like to do, I like to put archways over my gate so that you know where they are and put a sign above it to tell you where you're going. Um, and we also have gate delete. So if you go zero zero, okay. So it deleted this gate altogether. Nothing here, and that breaks the link between this gate and that gate. Um, so when I walk over this, it won't actually teleport me anywhere. Um, now the add allowed and the remove allowed. When you have someone on the allowed list, only that person can use it. Only people on the list can have it. As opposed to not allowed, if you have someone on not allowed, everyone but the person who's on the not allowed can't uh, can use it. Um, and if you want everyone just to be able to use it, don't worry about adding everyone or anything like that. It'll automatically set for everyone. Um, that is the basic usage of these gates. Uh, I mean, you can cover long distances. Let's say you want to go exploring, but you want to be able to get home. You just drop a gate at your house, name it home, run off where you want to run, you want to get back, name it back. That way you can have two home bases without spending a lot of iron on you know, minecart tracks. You can build roller coasters or whatever with them instead. Uh, well, thank you for watching uh, episode number three, and I'll have the rest out soon. Thank you. Bye.